We have one-on-one -on -one action on the way, and this one should be nothing short of amazing. I don't doubt that for a moment, Michael. In fact, I would go so far as to say this match might just steal the show. And Byron, I'd say he appears to be at the top of his game right now. Well, he's going to need to be if he wants to survive this match, that's for sure. order here in WWE. Yeah, and he's hoping his stock continues to rise. A loss here, though, would certainly crush those hopes. for control here. Here we go with Randy Orton. They're struggling for control right now. And here's Randy Orton looking for control. How about we touch on Randy Orton a bit? What do you expect his approach to be here? I'm not seeing a hatred for the opposition here, which can be dangerous. Indifference is bad when it comes to fighting. Yeah, the WWE is the true warrior endeavor. It's kill or be killed. Well, not literally, of course. Randy Orton is a third-generation superstar who fearlessly took his family name into the 21st century. Orton was a member of the faction known as Evolution, and in 2004, he became the youngest World Heavyweight Champion of all time. For some competitors, part of their strategy is to demean their opponent. A move like that says it all. And the offensive display by Luke Harper. Looks like Randy Orton has broken a sweat. But we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which is what we're seeing here. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. Randy Orton's been a part of factions, led his own faction, and is regarded as one of the most decorated WWE champions of all time. The Viper has also had epic rivalries with... The Undertaker, John Cena, Triple H, Daniel Bryan, The Shield, and Seth Rollins. Something else we need to remember, guys, is that in 2013, Orton became the first ever WWE World Heavyweight Champion. He reunited with The Evolution and became the face of WWE thanks to The Authority. In 2016, Orton made headlines thanks to his brutal battles with Brock Lesnar and forming a shocking alliance with The Wyatt Family. We might be seeing Luke Harper in some trouble here. I have to tell you, the RKO from Randy Orton is a thing of beauty. But, unless you're the one who's getting dropped by it. The Apex Predator's speed and power are just the beginning because an RKO can occur at any moment.
His shoulders are down. There may be no stopping him. Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. Corey, it still amazes me how quickly Randy Orton can strike an opponent with the RKO. Obviously, the WWE Universe feels the same way since the hashtag out of nowhere trends on social media whenever the fight were on course. It doesn't matter if an opponent is behind Randy Orton, in front of him, attacking him. Gets to the ropes, forcing the break. And Michael, I have to question the decision to go for a submission so close to the ropes. Nice job by Randy Orton there. Here, Cole. 
He's going for the pin. This could be it. Randy Orton has found an answer here. Success breeds success, and he's definitely having some right now. And what a nasty big boot by Harper. That's why you don't get in the ring with Luke Harper. Just as ruthless as the first time we saw it. What a display of unmitigated strength. This could do it. end of that stick flips the script on him there 
He clearly did his homework heading into tonight. Yep, there's the reversal by Luke Harper. He's not looking good here, Byron. No, he's got to get up, and he's got to get up now. Looking for the finish. On, oh, he's one step ahead on that one. And here comes oh, K.O. out of nowhere. But is it enough? There's the cover. Can he do it? And this match is over. Yeah.